For this project, I've already traced my areas, so now I'm ready to place my materials and look at a few different ways of installing them in the areas. So to begin, I'm going to select the area that I want to place a material in and come up to the material selector and just pick that material. This list is totally customizable in the material editor, but we'll cover that at a later time. Right now I just want to show you the install. Once I have selected the material, you'll be able to see the color in the room and I'm going to hit quantify which simulates an installation of that material. As soon as I hit this quantify button, I'll get a tile grid. I'll also get a gross quantity. This gross quantity is the amount of material that I need to order to fill this space. You also get a net quantity. This is just the size of the area, a perimeter, and a waste percentage. So the waste percentage is calculated by subtracting the net from the gross and then dividing that by the net. There are a few different ways to look at this installation. If I turn off my color, I just get the seaming diagram. And if I turn off the seaming diagram, then I get what we call the installer view. So this shows pieces of waste. You can see these red hatched pieces. These are cut tiles that are being reused where you see the blue hatching. Let's look at a roll good. I'm going to select sheet and we'll see we get these hatched lines that just show where the installation is going to go. So I'll hit my quantify button. That gives me a definite seaming plan and a gross quantity. Um, because I am still in the installer view, I can also see where this installation is reusing cut pieces. If I would like to change this install from an east-west to a north-south, I'll just double click a wall and that will change the direction of the install. I'll hit quantify again, which will generate a new plan. Again, color, seams, and this next button is a roll cutting map, which will give you a dimension for each cut and you can match these to the plan to see where they'll go. For the tile installation, we can also adjust the tile grid here by finding the start point. So that's this little arrow with the red dot going to room settings and selecting manual under start point. Now I can move the tile grid just by moving the start point. So that is placing materials and getting your quantities. In the next video, we will cover base and transition strips.